Hello everyone, and welcome to our mobile episode. Today we are playing with our third episode in our single player series, and we're going to be going over how to tame your first dino. Now, this tutorial is pretty good for dilos, dodos, anything that you can really hit with a club. So that's what our main focus for today is unlocking the um, the club engram, as well as how to craft it, and going out to go tame our first dinos. So let's go ahead and go into our inventory, and, well, not inventory, the ingers menu actually, and click on the wooden club engram. So you can win this for four engram points. Let's go ahead and craft it. Let's see, it needs four wood and 15 fiber, which we have plenty of right now. Let's go ahead and craft a bunch. Just in case one breaks, I will actually craft two of them for the trip, because I don't want to bring any extra materials with me. Okay, now those are crafted. We're going to drag this onto our hotbar. Let's see. I'll put them a little closer, after our spears. Yeah, clubs deal, deal um, some normal health damage as well as some torpor damage, so it's really good for taming any basic dinosaurs. Anything larger though, I wouldn't recommend taking any large dinos with this. Let's go ahead and put our set back into our inventories, and we'll be heading out. So we'll, be, we'll see you guys in a couple minutes when we find ourselves a nice little dodo. Okay, everyone, so we're back, and we managed to find ourselves a level 135 dodo. It's not super bright and pretty, but overall the level's really nice, and I do want decent health in, in case we do get attacked by any wild dinos. So let's go ahead and start taming it. So for starters, make sure, uh, for the um, the one click you have in your hotbar, let's go ahead and, and select that. And make sure that all your hits are within a span, like, once every five seconds, because overall you want to make sure that you have the maximum torpor for the minimum amount of damage possible. So let's go ahead and attack it. Oh, there's one hit. And he's running. Two hits. <laughs> this poor little dodo. It shouldn't take too many more. Oh, he's kind of stuck. Come on. On a good point, dodos are incredibly slow moving, so you shouldn't have an issue trying to tame this guy unless you have any dialos nearby. Let's see, still running? A good point, he hasn't even gone close to, close to half health, so that's really good for us. Oops, missed that one, actually. When it comes to herbivores like this that immediately run away, you can't actually tell when their torpor is low, at least in this case. The magnifying glass is not available in Arc Mobile. Let's see, kind of stopped. That's weird. <laughs> I love his little angry little face right there. So perfect. Let's see, it's getting close to about half health. Did you want to be a little bit more careful around here? Ooh, there's a dialer right nearby. Let's see, try and walk in front of the dino. Try, I'll try and slowly turn around. And when it does turn around, it'll help you with keeping away from any dangerous dinos. Let's see, 65 health. Here, this poor, poor dodo, guys. few more hits, then we should be all set. There we go. Whoops. Do not want to accidentally hit it again. If you hit it again, its um, its tame effectiveness will go down. Let's go ahead and check it out, and it has 100% tame effectiveness, which will gain 67 levels. So let's go ahead and grab its in grab, in uh, grab stuff in the inventory. As you can see, it has a creature implant right over here, but first we're going to go ahead and deposit a bunch of uh, measure berries. This time we're not going to be using a soothing balm for this tame, because it's a dodo. I'd rather save soothing balm for more expensive tames. Let's go ahead and transfer over the, the measure berries all stacks and it'll start eating it now from our last episode we end up placing down a mortar and pestle as well as uh, unlocking the narcotics engram so if you have any narcotics for this team as well i packed 29 with me which we should not need 29 in any case though if the um if the uh, unconscious meter is going down faster than taming you can always feed a few narcotics to help it keep like stay like stay asleep <laughs> the total looks so angry oh my gosh yeah, it will take a little bit of time to actually go ahead and, like, for it to eat all of it. Um, there is a possibility where people can always go do star, star taming, and star taming is where you'll wait just long enough for a majority of its uh, food to go down, and then you make sure that you then put all the foods in, in, into its inventory, and then it'll eat it up super fast. So that's another way for taming, but overall for today we're going over the basics. Let's see, it's about a quarter of the way done. I think we'll I'll see, we got, we'll see you guys later in just a minute or two, just to wait up for the taming effectiveness to go all up to 100. Ok, 
Okay, everyone, so we're back, and the Toto is about 95% tamed. So let's see, it has a tame effectiveness finally about 83%. If you do want a higher tame effectiveness, you, um, you can either feed it vegetables, or you can go ahead and purchase the soothing ball from the shop for that. But overall, I think it's a pretty good Dodo. We're mostly using it as a mobile refrigerator in our base since we... Oh, it's actually up. But we use Dodos as a mobile refrigerator because we can't get the, um, the preserving bin without spending too much right now. As well as the refrigerator until we get electronics later. So overall, I think it's a pretty nice Dodo. So it ended up at level 190. Let's see, you can sw you can actually pick it up from the function bar, so you can carry just like this. That's what what's this Dodo down here? This one's level five. Oh, not so bad. I <laughs> mean, at least it looks cute. But anyways, we're gonna head back to base and show off the the, um, the use of Dodo. Now we'll have to walk quite a far, so I might actually do a jump cut for this because let's see, where's the map? The map. There it is. Okay. Actually, the map still is not showing up. I was going to drop this guy. Okay, the map. There we go. As you can see, we're a little bit, for, a little bit further away from our base, so we'll do a jump cut back and just run back to the base and then show off the functionality of having a dodo in your base. So we'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, everyone, so we're almost back at base, so let's go ahead and see what this dodo can do. Well, in just a second, I'm going to finish walking first. Past this really, really like big galley. Yeah, as you can see, the you can, your, um, your character can actually pick up and hold the dodo. This is not one of these shoulder mounts, as well as it does not have a um, it does not have a saddle unless you get a modern PC arc. So let's go ahead and open up our door and then walk the dodo inside. You can either have them walk like follow you throughout the doorway, or a much easier way, just pick them up and then drag them into your base. A lot easier this way. So let's see. So this dodo is a female, so f for this particular dodo, they are super useful for laying eggs, which the eggs are useful for making kibble, as well as for eating in general, because for um, your player, you will get hungry very easily, and if you're not ha like, if, you if you're not like super happy with constantly having to make cooked meat or eat berries, eating eggs is a super, like, super convenient way. As well, when it comes to dodos in particular, it's going to take all first and then deposit and stuff. So I normally use them for storing a lot of berries onto our dinos because um, berries decay slower on dinos than they do on your player. They're not as good as storing onto a preserving bin or a refrigerator though, but in the meantime it is a very, very good start for this. As well, since it's already a herbivore, it'll already eat whatever it, like, whatever it needs so it won't starve with all these berries in its inventory. It's also a really good way to have organized chests and keep track of everything. So overall I have building supplies and like general crafted stuff. And having all the like um, all the perishables on the dodo is super useful that way. Now, one last thing before we end off the video, I let's see, I do have enough ancient amber. Let's go ahead and do the um, do, dye the dodo, <laughs> and also get it a creature collar. So if we go into our shop menu and go under collars, you can see that we have quite a few collars select, um, for selection over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the simple collar. That is the cheapest option that I see available currently in the shop. And we don't need too much for this dodo, but I just want to really spoil it for our first tame in the single player series. And we can also go ahead and make some um, make some potent dust to also die the dino. Let's go ahead and crush some ancient amber. You can crush ancient amber by clicking on it while in the modern pestle menu and then clicking on crush. Each, one, um, each ancient amber gives you two potent dust, so it's a really good option right there. It should not need more than four, so I think we'll be good for that. And let's go ahead and also grab the purple coloring and dye it purple. Now in order to dye your dinos, take the, um, take the potent dust, click and drag it into its inventory, and then you remote use the item, basically force feeding it to it. As you can see with one, it already has a slight tint of purple, which makes it look a lot prettier in my opinion. It had like a weird gray going on, which kind of blended in with our, all of our surroundings. Oop, game saving right there. But several more potent dust should make it look a lot prettier. Okay, we're back. So the game just immediately crashed right after saving, which was a pretty good thing. Let's go ahead and force free the remaining potent dust, as well as give it its cute little collar. A second potent dust made the purple a lot more vibrant, which I think looks really, really pretty on it. As to equip the collar, you can go ahead and click on the collar and click on equip, and it'll give you the option to equip local or equip remote. Equipping local will equip to your player's neck, but equipping it to remote will equip it onto the dodo's neck. Oh, it looks super cute. I love how the collar looks on it. I, I might dye it a little bit like a little bit later, possibly a pink, but overall I don't have any dye in the, on this player anymore since we just used the last of our royal dye. Yeah, what is that noise? I 
think it was the galley, but I don't see anything anymore. Oh well, the poor dodo's trying to follow us. Yeah, force feeding a few more potent dust should make it look even more vibrant each time. I normally feed about three or four per, um, per like per creature. Let's see. Well, let's pick them up now. It's trying to select the small animal feces, which that is yet another good use of having dodos in your base because overall, when you first start off farming, having um, any sort of animal feces as well as the human feces, you can then make it into fertilizer that you can use to create your own farm. So as a beginner dino, it's super useful if you do want to get into farming incredibly early on. We, let's see. Now we pick it up. Ooh, we accidentally punched the poor dodo. Oh no. Okay. Now we can place it down. As well, whenever you feed your dino potent dust, it'll also give it a little bit of XP. So our dodo actually has a level up right now. Also, it is extremely purple now. I love it. Let's see. For this dino, it has really high movement speed and melee damage. I mean, f for the sake of it being a mobile refrigerator, I'm going to go ahead and up its weight a bunch for the remaining six le um, five levels. And it'll bring it closer to 100 pounds. That way we can, we can store up to 100 pounds of berries, raw meat, anything on it. Which reminds me, I actually forgot to store the raw meat as well as the spoiled meat. It'll, it'll hold anything that is preser like uh, perishable, so even the small animal feces will decay a little bit slower using it. So anyways, that wraps up how to tame our first ever dino. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be, please be sure to leave a like down below and be sure to subscribe. My name is Rootreen, and... oh. I forgot one last thing. If you also want to give a name to this cute little dodo, please write a comment down below in the chat of your name suggestion. As well, make sure you have a great day. See you, everyone.